So I hadn't posted a video in a while. <clears throat> I just thought I'd make a quick talking video about everything going on. Uh, man, I tell you, we're in for a world of hurt. Holy moly. Uh, let's start with the chickens. <laughs> they just called uh, 1.2 million chickens in central Idaho because uh, they got the bird flu. Uh, that means your egg prices and the price of chicken is going to go way up. We're having a diesel fuel shortage. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. That means that probably going to, I mean, if the trucks can't run, which I'm not saying that they won't, looks like we're going to squeak by. But I mean, that definitely means prices are going to continue to go up for sure. And you may see some shortages in your grocery stores. I hope you're doing what I'm doing. I'm making daily, uh, well, not daily, probably about two or three times a week. I mean, I'm looking around. I'm buying, I'm buying everything. <laughs> you know I mean, I mean, it, of course you can't buy, you know, a million eggs and stick them in your fridge because they'll go bad before you can eat them. Perishable items, but I mean, I'm stock. I've stocked up on everything. I, I hell, I just bought another bedspread today because uh, the one that I got is super soft, and you know, that's something I encourage you to do. You know, because I look around and I say. You know what, that's kind of a rickety old ladder or that bedspread has got, you know, frays on it and stuff. Give your old stuff to charity and buy new stuff, right? I mean, now's the time, uh, you know, because you're going to have inflation galore. Fed raised uh, uh, interest rates today. I'm sure you're aware of that. I think there was like a 900 points drop in the stock market. I've been telling you, the stock market's going to crash. Oh, man, Saudi Arabia. <laughs> that was huge. Two days ago, they just gave the big double barrel to the United States again, and uh, they basically said that they're going with the Brinks nations and they're cozying up to China. Uh, they no longer want to deal in U.S. dollars. Now, I, you know, maybe you don't follow these things. That's that's a huge, huge development. We could see hyperinflation here in the United States, and I think we will. Uh, and nobody here knows what that's like, but I encourage you to go back and study uh, what happened to Germany just after World War I uh, in the prelude up to World War II when uh, uh, basically people were rolling up to the banks with, <laughs> you know, and I, I, it's funny because I, I talked to my adopted stepsister and uh, she doesn't understand what inflation does or, you know, how it affects the value of currency. It's not money, people. Uh, money is uh, silver, gold, and platinum. Uh, palladium, you know, whatever, I mean, precious metals, you know, you, wh wherever you want to go. I mean, that's that's where your money needs to be. Uh, but you're going to have to keep a certain amount of cash around. Uh, hell, they're, they're pushing through CBDCs, uh, uh, central central bank, the digital currency. Uh, that, that might become, and then they can track every dime you spend. Oh, yeah. And that idiot uh, over in uh, Britain that's the new prime minister there, he's pushing for that real hard. Uh, so that's that's another big development. Uh, just just a lot of things going on in the world, and um, you know, I, I I get back to the old uh, in a previous video I talked about a buddy of mine. They they got the chance in Michigan to throw out that tyrannical uh, idiot Whitmer <laughs> they got for a governor, uh, and I tell you, I love the the Republican candidate. She seems really sharp. Uh, really uh, seems like a good person, and yet you know. You talk to uh, Democrats in Michigan, and they're just like, "Well, you know, I don't, I don't follow politics. I don't, know, I don't care." Well, I guess what, people, you better start paying attention to what's going on in the world, because uh, it's going to impact you big time. If you don't own some silver, I encourage you before it's all gone, because it's it's disappearing rapidly. Go down to your local coin store. You know, buy maybe just a little three dollar dime. Get started somehow, because. You know, that's 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 the only thing that's going to be worth something <laughs> you know, within about the next year and a half, uh, if that long. Good God. I mean, things are moving rapidly at this point. I mean, who would have thought diesel fuel uh, is. And of course, now we've depleted the strategic oil reserve and China is talking about invading Taiwan. Boy, I'm just a downer in this video, ain't I? <laughs> I mean, is, is there any good damn news? Well, I guess the good news is it looks like uh, for me anyway, because uh, I I. I think the uh, we've got some good candidates that may get elected in this election. Now, can they turn around the what the Democrats have done to the country and destroying it? I no, no, they can't. I mean, we're we're heading for a world of hurt, but uh, I think it uh, it's a start, right? It could have been a hell of a lot worse. I mean, imagine that if that meth head idiot that had gotten elected here in uh, Florida instead of DeSantis. Uh, and within 30,000 votes, what, not too long ago when, when that election happened, uh, and, and, and then DeSantis just crushed it. 
uh, I showed what it is, and we call it the free, the free, the free state of Florida for a reason, because DeSantis turned it into the free state of Florida, but that's how close it was. Imagine if Hillary Clinton had gotten elected instead of Trump. Oh my God, I mean, the, the country, I mean, we're in a, we're in a, crisis. I mean, Biden has basically destroyed the country. The Democrats and Biden have destroyed the country in just a mere two years from where Trump left everything. Uh, wow. What else? I mean, uh, uh, there's a, hey, there's a good special Viva Fry did. I won't get a strike for this, but it, he did it with uh, Robert Malone on uh, Rumble. Uh, it was an interview and uh, they talked about the uh, mRNA vaccines and everything you need to know about those. Uh, it's a pretty long interview, and uh, man, I tell you, I, whoo, I'm real freaking happy I didn't get that vaccine. <laughs> and I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying you shouldn't. YouTube, don't take me down. Don't take me down now. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just saying that in that interview, because uh, he was the inventor of mRNA, and man, he is one smart cookie. And that interview, uh, he talked about uh, all the things you, you might want to know. Uh, and if you got the vaccine, uh, you might want to watch that interview. That's all I got to say about that topic. And, you know, I'm sorry that everything got censored. Uh, oh, what else? Um, I guess that's kind of about it for this video. Uh, you know, I, I do have some friends and relatives that watch these videos from time to time. Uh, I'm knocking it out of the park here. I, I actually did a, I'm, I'm going to, you know, like I said, I got my new channel on Rumble, uh, Outdoors with Kirk. I haven't put up, I've only put up two videos so far, but I've got videos in the works. I went to uh, actually Marshall Swamp, which is where the channel began uh, about two or three years ago. And I actually made it the whole way. Uh, now I was stumbling. I almost fell four times. <laughs> my legs don't work all that well. I don't have much feeling in my feet or my hands. But anyway, I made it, and uh, that that's huge. Uh, so I'm am recovering from the broken neck, and that's uh, so we may get back into some huge outdoor adventures, and that's why it's called Outdoors with Kirk. Probably should have made it out with Kirk because you know people like shorter names to search on. Uh, I guess that's about it. I'm trying to think of anything else going on in the world that you might want to know about. I mean, I, but I, I can't emphasize enough the financial crisis that we're in. And uh, it's going to get it's going to get huge. Uh, inflation is going to wipe you out. You're going to see prices continue to go up. I mean, diesel fuel prices could skyrocket. And, and now, now that we've depleted the strategic oil reserve, oh, that's the other thing. China looks like they're going to invade Taiwan. If not within the, I mean, I don't know, sooner rather than later. A lot of people are saying in a year and a half, uh, that's the timetable they're putting on that. I'm saying it's going to be a lot sooner because uh, with Saudi Arabia basically ditching the dollar, uh, everybody else in the world ditching the dollar, the dollar's trash, man. I mean, it's it's going down. I don't know where we go from there. And and the Comex, uh, if you watch the Comex or um, the L L L D M A or L B M A or whatever the London Exchange, uh, all the gold and silver are being bought up by uh, all the Eastern nations, uh, India, Russia, China. They know what's coming, and they're preparing for it. And uh, we all we have is idiots in charge. Is that? And that's all I can say. Either that, or they are in cahoots and destroying the United States on purpose. I mean, when you got open borders and, and I, you know, it's hard for me to believe that people could possibly be this stupid that lead our country. I mean, you got Millie and Austin. I mean, the dumbest two people in charge of the military. I mean, uh, I'm seeing reports on all the people we've lost in the military. Uh, and now with the strategic oil reserve, I mean, what what are our ships going to do? How are they going to fight the war in Taiwan? I mean, you know, of course, we're not producing that much oil. So, I mean, are they going to run out of fuel? To be able to fight a war? I don't know, man. It's uh, it's looking crazy everywhere I look. Uh, it's uh, I'm just, all I'm saying, grow a garden. <laughs> get you some vegetables, right? Uh, get you some silver. Maybe buy some gold if you can. I mean, if you got the wherewithal. Sacrifice that cup of coffee at Starbucks and uh, go buy a, a silver coin. Anyway, that's it. Peace out. Stay free. And it's good, 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 good to live in the free, 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 free state of Florida.